Hello everyone, and welcome back to the laboratory, where we are here getting ready to mix and match a whole bunch of different animal genes to create some curious creature crossbreeds. And today, we are back with Grace the Poodle. Yes, we did just see her a moment ago, but she is back because I am still on my poodle obsession. Sometimes these things happen. And she's actually here because rumor has gotten out that we didn't have the most colorful of luck when we were trying to create some curious crossbreeds between a poodle and a rainbow unicorn. And that has actually brought out another one of the mythological creatures that we sometimes have visit the laboratory, who mixes all sorts of unique colors and patterns into its genes. May I present my friends? The Easter Bunny! Rainbow the Easter Bunny, who is becoming um, a little bit annoyed because, you know, he's been the Easter Bunny and has added in quite a few interesting coloration variation for a very long time here in Nova Barkatory. And now there are real rabbits that are actually going to be showing up in The Sims 4 Cottage Living. Like, he's gonna be replaced! by actual rabbits that you can actually have in the game instead of a dog that we have modified to look like a rabbit. But that's okay. We still cherish the Easter Bunny and we really love what he does for our genetics. So he's feeling a little bit shy about the new bunnies that are coming, like the new species of bunny in this cottage living event thing. So he is now wearing these little booties also made by Kalino. And these are to kind of denote the, like, yeah, I'm the Easter Bunny. There's color, there's light, there's adorable everywhere wherever I go so the Easter Bunny's special effects my friends are actually that he changes both the color and the pattern of any of the creatures that his DNA has been mixed with last time with the unicorn you just kind of get to see if you get to change the color but this time we get to mix the DNA with any kind of pattern on our new puppies. I'm so freaking excited. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys are ready to put on your lab coats and break out those Petri dishes. Make sure to snap on your safety goggles and we're going to begin. Just like usual, we're going to be choosing from your guys' comments in previous videos in order to choose the name Curious Crossbreeds. <gasps> Look at this one, it has two color eyes. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> But let's go ahead and do this. All right, let me pick a new name from the random common generator. And this is going to be, dun, 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 <gasps> Ruben. So this is actually going to be little Ruben. Welcome, little one. Already we are seeing some fantastic colorful genes here. But as Ruben gets a little bit older, what is going to happen is we are going to actually be randomizing the coat pattern and then the coat colors due to the powers of the Easter Bunny. But for now, we're going to be randomizing Ruben's little abilities. And Ruben, you are going to be friendly, a sleuth, and playful. And when you grow up, we're going to go ahead and see if Ruben inherits the bunny ears or not. The bunny ear requirement is that you have to be a small creature though. So if they're small, they get bunny ears. And if they are big, then they do not get bunny ears, but they might have adorable poodle ears, which I would love as well. Ruben, good job, good boy. All right, you stay there. I'm gonna get you some siblings. And then once we have all the siblings, the puppies will be old enough that their new patterns and colors. So let's also go ahead and we are going to have little Christy. So Christy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Christy. Look at you. You kind of remind me of a little marigold. All right, so Christy, welcome, welcome. You are fresh and hopefully as you age, you're going to shed that coat and show some glorious colors or spots or dots. And Christy, you are a troublemaker who is active and you produce wool. You know what? Fine. I'm just leaving it. I used to be like, oh, no, 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 you can't do that. And I used to, to joke like, which one of you intern Tori has sucked the sheep genetics back into the Petri dish? But we're just going to leave it this time because why not? And now we're actually going to have Rhea. Rhea, welcome. Welcome. You have such big ears. And I'm so glad that you enjoyed our Finnick Foodles because uh, I think that that was one of the most amazing crossbreeds we've ever done. They turned out fantastic, just saying. And Rhea, you are actually going to be a jumpy, smart, and vocal little pup who hopefully won't be getting into too much trouble for us. And then up we go. We're going to dive on in. Puppies pretty quick today because we have to see what their patterns will be when they grow up. I'm so excited. 
And next up, we're gonna have team. Or actually, we'll go with trees. So team trees, totally feeling that by the way, because we actually plant real life trees now with every one of our busy beaver patrons and above that we have over on our Patreon. So I am totally team trees. And I am very proud to say that we are now keeping a tracker for how many trees we plant every month as the pixel biology community patrons. I'm so tickled by that. All right, trees, you're gonna go ahead and you are going to be a stubborn hunter who is independent. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see what your colors are going to ha like emerge as. This is just like, they're, I'm making him be born so quickly this time because this is, this is just the beginning. Just the beginning of who knows what we could get up to. All right, and then next up, we're at, oh, look at that bright pink coloring. But this is, well, actually very appropriate if you turn out to be pink again. You're not pink this time, but this is going to be Rose Thorn. And Rose Thorn, I think that crossbreeding a Finnick Fox and a Great Dane sounds amazing. I'm gonna actually write that down on my, I have a notepad right in front of me right now in case you guys have really cool ideas. A Finnick Fox and a Border Collie also sounds amazing. And a Finnick Fox and a Cheetah. Oh my goodness. That could turn out so cool. We'll have to do some more Finnick Fox mixes soon. All right, Rose Thorn. Let's see if we actually have you end up being a little bit pink. That would be really cool. Rose Thorn, you are a stubborn, independent hunter. Hmm. It sounds like you're living up to your name with that. That's really neat. A little prickly, but we still love you. Oh, oh there we go. All right, we've got... Dun dun dun, Thailand, Thailand, welcome. And Thailand, you suggest us crossbreeding. There we go, Thailand. You suggest us crossbreeding a dragon and a sheep. Fun fact, I did that with Spyro. If you check out the link in the video description, you're going to find a playlist of all of our curious crossbreed creations. And one of them is none other than Spyro and a sheep, which I had so much fun with. Maybe we'll do that one again, because that's always just a, one that tickles me. And Thailand, you are going to be a, a vocal a glutton who is smart. So now that all the puppies are born, they're so small, they're so cute. You guys are helping me to take good care of all of them. We're gonna watch as they age and both their pattern and their colors change depending on the dice of destiny. Ruben, you're up first. All right, first thing is coat pattern changes and the dice of destiny rolled three. One, two, three. <gasps> so cute! Oh my gosh, Ruben! Then one, two, three, four, five for your color. And then three for the next two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, Ruben! You ended up so adorable. I don't know how you have all of those colors, but you're so cute. All right, are you going to end up being big or small? Oh, wow! Oh my gosh, I love this mix so much. Am I just gonna end up doing like a ton of Poodle and Easter Bunny mixes? Because this is this is amazing. Look at you, Ruben. Oh my gosh, you're glorious. I wish Poodles came in the real color because that's really pretty. <laughs> All right, wow. Now that we have seen what can happen and I love your gigantic ears, by the way. Let's keep going, you guys. Christy, you are up next and we're actually going to be randomizing your pattern five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna be randomizing your color. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'm rolling the dice. Don't worry, guys. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. This is fine, Christy. Oh my gosh. Christy, you're living up to your eye color. I was trying to figure out how we were going to make this match with like your, um, your like red eyes. And you're actually doing fantastic. Christy actually looks beautiful. She reminds me of some sort of like abstract painting now. Are you gonna have big ears or small ears? Are you big or small? And you're big. Oh my gosh. Christy, this is so cool. I love this. We need more Easter bunny mixes in here. Don't you think guys? Oh my goodness. You're so cool, Christy. Oh, let's keep doing this. Let's keep doing this. All right, Rhea, you're up next. We're gonna be randomizing your coat pattern. All right, and, oh, that's so cute. All right, and then one, two, three, three, three. you're blue. <laughs> okay, and then, na, 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 na. you're green and blue. Rhea, 
Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Rhea, you look so cool. Look at her, you guys. Okay, Easter Bunny wins over the unicorn for being able to produce really amazing crossbreed colors. Rhea, this is so much fun. I love this. All right, next up is trees. Trees, we're gonna be randomizing your pattern. All right, here we go. Uh, actually, I think I need to go ahead and remove... Oh my gosh, it would be so cool if this was yours. It is not, unfortunately. Uh, but I did need to remove that in order to see the jeans break through. And then we've got this patterning. I don't think we've ever had this patterning before on trees. Or like on anyone. So trees, let's see what you turn out to be color-wise. <gasps> okay, I love that cyan. You could be any other color. And with that cyan as the base, it's going to look so good. All right, and then two, three, four, five. <gasps> Pink? Okay, trees, you you saw the future. You saw what you wanted to do and you just leapt for it. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Four, there we go. Oh, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. That was so perfect. That was so utterly perfect. And you have big rabbit ears too. <laughs> okay, Easter Bunny, Easter Bunny for the win, Easter Bunny. I, I take back everything I said about doubting you. Rose Thorn, you're up next. I think we're gonna need to do the same thing with removing, yeah, the dominant gene of white. And then one, two, three. Oh, you're gonna be cute. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's really precious, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Oh wow, somehow this color I think is a little glitched right now. Um, and it's it's dark brown, but it shows up as white. That makes a lot of sense. And Rose Thorn, oh, are you gonna be bigger? <gasps> Rose Thorn, you're gonna be small bunny sized. You guys, we finally have our bunny. Oh, Rose Thorn, are you gonna be running around? Here, we'll give you the little bunny haunches too. That's adorable. Rose Thorn, you are freaking adorable. You've got little bunny haunches. You've got little bunny ears. I'm so happy with these. I am so ridiculously happy with these. Guys, we've got to do more Easter Bunny mixes because this is just too perfect. All right. And then finally, we've got the final mix with Thailand. There we go, Thailand. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Thailand, you too look ridiculously adorable. Oh my gosh. Thailand, you ended up with poodle, poodle patterning and Easter bunny ears. We haven't had an Easter bunny tail. We haven't had that mix yet either. Oh, wow. I am so ridiculously happy with these colors. This is what we needed for a day in which the US is going to be tossing a bunch of fireworks up into the air. Something extremely colorful to celebrate. And now we know where to go. The Easter Bunny. He might be replaced by some adorable new species of Bun Bun coming to Sims 4 with Cottage Living pretty soon. But he still knows how to go ahead and create some amazing puppies. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this. If you guys could, do please leave some suggestions of who we could mix the Easter Bunny with next time. And if you would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.